Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and welcome back to Start Over. And you guys in the comments section have been legit. Like, the tips are unbelievably useful, unbelievably helpful, unbelievably awesome. Thank you very much for them. Uh, this tip I'm gonna sh I'm about to show you is freaking awesome. So check this out, guys. You can now pause the game. See the fire, how it's going? I'm gonna prove to you that the game will be paused. If you press the tilde key below the escape, below the escape key, the tilde key, it'll bring up that little black bar on the bottom. And then if you type in the word pause, I'm pressing up on the uh, arrow key because I already put in the word pause. I don't have to type it again. And then you use pause, check it out. The game is now paused. And if you just do it again, it unpauses. Thank you. That is freaking awesome. Uh, I did write down the tips. So we're going to go over all the tips right now. So um, apparently you can make the... You can make the tuna fish on a stick in the grill. You simply have to put wood down here. I'm going to turn that off. That should have been off. So the, that makes sense, right? Because it's tuna on a stick. It needs wood for the stick. But the thing is, I don't think you ever have to do that in the campfire. So is the idea was it took it out of the fuel section for the stick? Or I, I guess that, that, that I guess that would make sense. So um, yeah, tuna on a stick. Freaking awesome. I'm going to take these fish balls out. We are going to eat one fish ball today because I want to see how much... Uh, you know, how much hunger it gives you, because these don't tell you how much hunger they fill you up. Well, let's read it. Uh, food ingredient made from fish and shaped into a bite-sized ball packet. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about how much it gives you as far as, like, you know, hunger. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some stuff down here, too. There we go. I want to talk about inventory management now, okay? I'm, now, normally I wouldn't talk about inventory management because it's kind of boring, but someone did bring to my attention that when I was moving around heavy items, I was using up a lot of space in things like the pockets, where I couldn't carry as much stuff in there because it was kind of full, all right? Now, here's the problem, the ATV bug. Every time I go on the ATV, all right, um, you know what I'm going to do? Here, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to find out what gets taken out when you get on the ATV and what doesn't, okay? I'm just going to do this uh, really quickly. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... The vest is the ultimate place to put stuff. It only holds 10 kilograms. It's the best place to put your tools, period, bar none, all right? So, I'm going to put the hammer down there. Uh, no space for item. Well, it does have an, uh, an inventory, um, you know, max weight. So that's, yeah. All right. So there we go. So we got the hammer down there. The hammer is on the, the vest. The next place, the best place to put stuff is in the jacket. You see how it only holds 20 kilograms? That's a good place to put tools because you're not wasting as much space, you know, if, if that makes any sense. I hope this makes sense. But yeah. Uh, and then up here in the pockets, we'll put the axe. Okay. So we've got the vest. The jacket and the pockets. Now let's get on the ATV and see what disappears. Because I'm telling you right now, it's going to be this one is going to disappear, this one's going to disappear, and this one is not. So let's just. There you go. Okay. So what that tells me is stuff in the pockets does not disappear, and stuff in the jacket and the vest, which would be the best two places to keep your tools, do disappear. I don't know about you guys, but that really annoys me, and I don't want to be redoing the. Uh, my, my hopper every time I get on and off the, the freaking ATV. I know I don't get on and off a lot, but when I do, it'll it'll still it'll still annoy me. So I'm gonna keep stuff up here, and we can still put stuff in the vest like so. And this still leaves open for two ores. I can go out and mine 200 iron, which I'm pretty sure would not fit in my pockets. So there's still a good amount of room in here for high weight items, and you know, uh, but still, I want them to fix it because I want to put stuff in my vest because I think that would be the best place for it. Why is this thing? It still sounds like it's on. Turn off, bro. There you go. I don't like that. Wasting gas. So another tip I got is once you upgrade your house to this level, uh, you can't move foundations or walls or anything. They just get destroyed. Do you get anything back for them? I don't know. But from what everyone said, it, it sounds like you don't. Um, so that's a bit of an annoyance. But honestly, guys, the footprint of the base is finished. I had no intention of like widening this base anymore. I will make multiple floors. But that I won't have to delete anything. I mean, maybe a couple of these corner pieces might have to get deleted. So kind of wasted a little bit there. But it's not really that big of a deal. The walls will stay when I make a second floor. And the foundations obviously will stay. So um, good tip, though, for people out there who don't know. But I kind of, like, anticipated it. So it, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Fingers crossed. Uh, someone wanted me to look for ramps in the game. Because when I'm driving up my ATV right here. It's kind of wonky on the stairs. So I was like, all right, let's go look for some ramps. I could not find any ramps. Uh, we'll look together for one minute. I don't want to be in here for too much. If there are ramps in here and I'm just missing them because I've missed stuff in the past, let me know. 
That's a triangle. None of this stuff looks like ramps to me. Uh, that looks like a ramp, but it's wooden foundation stairs. I don't know of any way to change that to a ramp. That looks like a ramp, but it's a wood roof. And none of this stuff looks like ramps to me. So I don't think there's ramps in the game. If there is, let me know. I'd, you know, I'd be happy to make some. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, goodness. I went over the entire list of stuff I wanted to talk about. So that's great. Thank you again for the comments. Keep them coming. All right. So what I'm going to do now is we are going to set my hot bar. All right. And we can just do that and that. All right. So I want the gun. They got my melee weapons. We're going to do the axe. We're going to do the pickaxe. We're going to do this thing over here. Uh, and we're going to do the torch right there and the hammer right there and the blueprints right there. Okay. Beautiful. Now, what I really want to do today is I would like to make a gun workbench. I, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I don't remember what I need for steel, but I'm pretty sure I can make it. Wood planks won't be a problem. Plastic. I mean, wires and batteries. Let's see what we have for wires and batteries. Hmm, no more wires, huh? I feel like I should have more wires. Let's take a look in here really quick. Nope. Nope. And nope. Okay. Well, fear not. We can make wires. So we're going to come on over here. And oh, look at my awesome water dispenser. I'm going to come over here and we're going to grab some copper. See, I can still hold a lot of stuff like in here. It's not like that weight's never going to get maxed because my tools are in there. And we're going to come over here. I think all you need, I think all you need for it is copper. Let's take a look. Maybe copper and plastic. Oh, just copper. All right, cool. That makes me very happy. We need to make more, uh, we need to make more plastic. As a matter of fact, really quickly, let's take a little detour out here. And let's grab some more oil shale. We need to keep that oil coming. Oil's used for plastic. Oil's used for gas. I think it's used for other... Whoa. I think it's used for other things as well that I don't remember. <laughs> I just know oil's really important. And we are getting hungry as well. So let's go ahead and have one of these meatballs and see how much it, it uh, fills us up. I wish you could eat from your vest. I, I don't like that you have to put this stuff in your... You know, on your hot bar... Although it does give you the awesome eating animation, but you could do that from the vest as well. Just close the vest and I don't know. Oh, that looks really good, man. Oh, that did not do a lot. Oh boy. Okay, well, the fish meatballs kind of suck. Um, see, again, we need numbers on this thing because I don't know what food is best. I need cooked fish. Uh, all right, get this. I need cooked fish to make the fish balls. Okay. So if the cooked fish gives more or as much as the, as the fish balls, the fish balls are pointless. The only thing is they take up like less space, but it's not like this stuff takes up a lot of space anyway. All right, let's see. Let's take a look at the food bar and kind of... Mm, that did give a little less, I think. Again, I can't tell because there's no numbers. I really... I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to harp on it, but we really need numbers for this stuff if we're going to make intelligent decisions. Right, come over here and we will drink. Beautiful. Love it. This base is, you know, this base is coming along really nicely. And you know, it's funny. Some people are saying that like, um, this game is kind of getting better than we thought it was going to be. I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain, but yeah, this game, what do I need for what? Yeah, just copper. Okay. So let's just go ahead and make 10. Yeah. This game is getting better than I, I thought it was going to be. I didn't like, I, I mean, I knew this game was going to be kind of interesting. I don't like play games. I don't like, but it's starting to exceed my expectations, which is definitely a good thing. Um, they still have something, to, they still have some work to do with the combat. There's no doubt about that, but man, like, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of happy with it right now. I'm not going to lie. And we're going to make 10 plastic as well. Well, it'll be 20, but we're going to make 10 units of plastic. As I was crafting this workbench, I was getting a little confused. Um, it's pretty funny. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm talking about. So the gun workbench, it says, it says it takes two batteries, right? So I came over here and I'm like, oh, I got some batteries. I, I put this battery in because I was like, it's empty. Maybe I can use this one. Didn't work. Then I put two of the regular batteries. Like I put one of these and one of these and didn't work. Then I put two of the batteries that had charges. Still didn't work. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? Why can't I make this thing? Yeah, there's other batteries uh -huh, right there. So I had to make two of these batteries, which was fine. So it's a little bit of lithium and cobalt and stuff like that. So I do have the workbench. And I think what we're going to do now is we're going to pick up this bench. And we're going to put the gun workbench right here. Number six. There we go. And turn it around. And that looks pretty good to me. Let's get as close to the wall as possible. And there we go. We now have a gun workbench. All right. So let's see what we can do with this. All right. Gun parts are used for crafting firearms. It makes sense. See, gun parts, steel. Oh, I can actually make guns. Like uh, titanium, plastic, electronics, steel. 
Yeah, I mean, what does it take for the gun parts? Not really that big of a deal. Wow, I can craft my guns. I thought I was going to have to go loot guns. Uh, magazines. There's the revolver. Wow, they call it a clip. So I get, well, it's not really the same as a magazine. So um, what is a TP magazine? Oh, for 9mm. Okay. Assault rifle magazine. Sniper magazine. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Rockets. Can we make one of these? Dude, I can, like, kind of make that if I could make gunpowder. I'm pretty sure I can make gunpowder. I haven't looked, honestly. Can I make gunpowder? Maybe I can't make gunpowder. All kinds of mines and stuff like that. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, that is something legit. So we now need to build the sewing station. Um, all right. If I could build the sewing station, I will. I want to do some looting today as well. So um, I want to go fight the enemy, but I don't want to do it with just a shotgun because I won't really be able to get that close. They, they kill you pretty quick. Um, so we're going to have to wait uh, wait until we get some kind of range, like real range weapon. Shotgun, I kind of look at shotguns as like, kind of like super melee. <laughs> you really got to get close. But if you do, they're in trouble. So steel ingots, we need more steel ingots. That's not good. Um, wood planks are fine. Kevlar? Kevlar? Have I even looted Kevlar? I don't remember looting Kev I have batteries in here. I didn't even have to make any. I don't remember looting Kevlar. Um, do I make it? Maybe I make it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere. I'm assuming I didn't loot it. I'll look around a little bit more. But let me take let me take a look here. Can we make Kevlar? Oh yeah, Kevlar. Plastic and cloth sounds pretty good to me. How many am I gonna need? How much am I gonna need? A sewing station. Oh, only two. Okay, I can probably make two right now. Nope. Uh, cloth. Oh, cloth. Yeah. Wait, we have the cloth in there. No, we don't. Let's get this gas out of there. It's taking up a lot of room. And, oh, I've also been making coal. Let me go check my electric furnace thingy-mabob. Put that right there. Let's look over here. Okay, yep. We're making charcoal. That's right, making charcoal. All right. Again, when you put propane in here, I need some kind of indication on how long the propane's going to last. Like, I don't know. I have no clue. So, uh, what the heck was it? Oh, I already have some gun parts. That's cool. Uh, oh, yeah, I got to get this uh, carpentry bench off me. There we go. Just put it right up in there. Okay. Oh, yeah, we need cloth. Cloth, cloth, cloth. Cloth, 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 cloth. Uh, there it is. No, nope. if there was cloth, I think it would be in here. I don't think I have any. You know, guys, I don't know if the gas furnace is worth it. I mean, it does stuff faster, but it's expensive, and those propane tanks don't don't last that long. They really don't. Now, to power that thing, I need to use a gasoline, an organic oil, and five iron ingots, and it doesn't even last that long. You know, I could just make stuff in here with wood. It'll do everything. It just does a slower. You can make three of these. You can make five of these. Uh, yeah, you know what? Not really worth it. Not really worth it. Uh, I'd have to see. I mean, it only did 60 out of 100 wood. One propane tank only did 60 wood. That doesn't seem like a lot, but I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, because I am I am not impressed. All right. So right here, uh, sewing station. There we go. 60 seconds. And I will have myself a sewing station. I mean, it's not terrible. I just, I don't know. Maybe we could, maybe we could get our, get our find our way to like an electric, you know, setup. That'd be pretty cool. And maybe that would be better. Because right now, it doesn't seem that worth it. I know it does a lot faster, but man, like five iron is not nothing. I guess I gotta go out and mine iron for that. <laughs> I gotta mine, you know, um, how much is the gas? Is the gas really expensive? Because it also takes gasoline. Five five oil and five charcoal. Charcoal's not a big deal. What does the oil take again? I don't remember. How do I make the oil? The oil's the oil shale, right? Okay. So the oil shale's not that big of a deal. I don't know. It's I guess it's not that bad, but I don't know. I think it should last longer. That's all. Maybe allow yourself to, I don't know. No, not, not allow anything. It should just last, it should simply last longer. I do want to go out and loot today. Uh, it looks like it's almost, you know, looks like uh, the nighttime may be over. Let's take a look really quick. Eh? Oh, yeah, it's morning. All right, cool. Yeah, we're going to go out and do some looting. I don't even know where I want to put this freaking thing. Uh, I can put it right there. And there we go. We got ourselves a sewing station. All right, number six. Now it wants you to build. Oh, once it doesn't. It says build it. It doesn't count unless you actually put it down. That's fine. And of course, it's backwards. Can't have it. 
can't have it, bro. Six. Should have known they they all come down as backwards. By this time, I should have known that. All right, and let's see what we can craft in here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, maybe we won't go out looting right now. Um, that's very doable. Um, first tile functional. Blah blah blah. Crafted items. All right, so here's here's another problem. I, oh, hold on. Hold your horses. Should have plenty of room for this. All right, where are you, buddy? I hear you. Oh, there you are. Come on, drop it. Drop the goodies. <laughs> yeah, boy. It's like they see my house and they're like, hey, that guy needs this stuff. Let's drop it. All right, so let's take a look at this again. All right, so that's a backpack. All right, so these are two backpacks. Which is better? I guess the one that takes longer to make? A versatile and functional backpack designed for everyday use. Offering a balance of durability, comfort, and practical uh, features such as multiple compartments. A durable and functional backpack designed for the military, law enforcement, outdoor activities with features such as multiple. Yeah, they need to. I need to know which one's better. Like, I don't. That's not. That's no good. Um, ooh, a helmet. I already have a helmet. Is that the best helmet? So none of the hats are any good for me. I don't need any shoes. I've already got the vest. But the backpacks will be nice. All right, let's go get that airdrop. Maybe we'll do some looting and then I'll. Uh, Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do some looting and... Hold on a sec. Uh, oh, damn it. I wish I kept an eye on it. Where the hell is it? It was right here. Are you guys seeing it? I'm not seeing it. There was some... I remember there was something about a bug fix about the uh, airdrops landing in the water. But I thought it was fixed. Uh, darn it. Oh, okay. So it's, it's over there. That's okay. Well, <laughs> at least I found it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. What do we got? All right. So we got an HP backpack. Put that right. Um, can we not put that on? So do I have to actually take off my backpack to put that on? Okay. Fair enough. Uh, none of this stuff is really, I mean, that, Oh, four Bitcoin. Never mind. Pretty good. That's like what 400, 400 bucks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll take the. Never mind. I was about to talk crap about this airdrop, and I'm like, oh, four hundred dollars. Sure. Now let's see what this backpack does. Eighty. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. That's a dope backpack. Although it doesn't look like it has that much more space. Like, but it's got more weight, so that's awesome. And is that one of the ones I could craft? It also says rare. So is that because it's that backpack or is it because it's like a better version of the backpack? HB backpack. All right. Let's go in here and take a look. Uh, no, that's HR backpack. I don't know the freaking difference. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, fair enough. I'll probably make these backpacks anyway. But I don't think right now. I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump some stuff off and then we are going to go out. I'm going to need a drop chest. So, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. No, not in there. Not in there. Where the hell is it? There it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up this locker as a drop chest, drop locker. And then that way I can organize like on my own time and not during video time. And definitely not during looting time. All right, let's go do some looting. Hell yeah, bro. I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head towards this town down here. I wanna see if I can hire a mercenary. Um, although like, is it is it worth hiring a mercenary right now? Oh no, the mercenary's in the starter town. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm going to go down this town and do some wheeling and dealing, though. Do some buying and selling. Um, and the thing is, I don't want to hire a mercenary until I'm ready to go attack a base. An enemy base. And I'm not ready right now. Uh, I'm thinking next step. Maybe maybe the episode after next. I'm thinking next episode, we could do some more uh, crafting. Get some, you know, crafting done. Maybe a little bit of looting. And definitely make some kind of assault rifle. Maybe even some sniper rifles and stuff. And then I'm thinking the episode after, maybe I'll go assault the base. I was debating whether I wanted to turn on hordes or not. And, you know, I just, I don't know, man. Like, they were, the horde was so bad last time. I, I just don't want to, like, you know, I don't want to go through that again. Although, at least they drop stuff now and there's less of them. But without a gun, I don't really see much point. And I do have a shotgun, but like I said, that shotgun, you get pretty close. I, I don't think it's going to, it's going to work out that well. Um, but we will eventually do the horde again, for sure. And we'll see how it goes this time. Um, 
Yeah, man, I'm not gonna lie. Developers got a lot of work to do, man. It's just, you know, it's just the way it is, but, you know, they seem to be working hard. They seem to be uh, wanting to make this game as good as it, as it can be. Is it better to just buy guns than to craft them? They seem pretty cheap. Uh, wait, the revolver clip is five bucks? Um, okay. I guess I'll buy that. Sure, why not? Now, what can we sell here? I don't think we sell anything, mostly guns. Well, I could sell my assault rifles. Hmm. The assault rifles are re relatively cheap. I could probably make some money on selling guns. All right. Well, nothing to sell there. You're welcome. Let's see what you got. Um, buy. Oh, you could buy salt. Okay, so that's pretty good. I mean, if those if those salt meals were... Well, the fish balls are pretty good. I mean, you know, so you could buy the salt. Is it worth spending money for? I don't know. Probably not. Ooh, binoculars. That might be something I want to get. Well, let's try out the binoculars. Um, spider stew. No, thank you. No, thanks. I don't mean to be a dick, but keep your spider stew, bro. That is not going to work for me. All right. Uh, sprats, sardines, leather. No, nope, I don't want to sell any of that stuff. Come back later. Can I, help I will come back later. Thank you very much. All right. Batteries, electronic. Oh, they're expensive. Oh, boy. I can make all this stuff, though. Bro, I can't make this stuff, but I can make that other stuff. Get some gun stuff. Vests. Raccoon stew. Still wouldn't need it, but it, you'd have an easier chance of getting me to eat raccoon stew than spider stew. Good luck, spider. Not going to lie. You for... just make up another name for that spider stew, for real. Like, call it anything with spider stew. Like, what the heck are you thinking? And we're going to sell all our fish. What was the one item that was like five bitcoins that I wanted? Was that a backpack? I don't think I need backpacks anymore, man. Uh, you know, let's check out the binoculars. See you later. Alligator. That's not bad. It could be a good way to like uh, spot uh, bandits if I want to if I want to snipe them. All right, so let's take a look at what we got in here. Uh, no, don't care about that. That's empty. That's empty. So up to almost five hundred dollars and four bitcoins. Oh, who buy, who buys the blunder bus? I thought. I got the is it nobody here that buys the blunder bus? Uh, uncommon. There you go. Okay, so now we got even more money. Yes, not much, but more. Wait, but buy another one. Not enough items. Okay, so maybe the one was uncommon. This one's regular. Okay. Oh, whatever. Happy All right, the next thing I want to do is we're going to visit the mine. And I'm going to get a bunch of ores in there. There is some loot in the mine, so we'll go check it out. And let's see what we got right here. I don't know if all these towns have mines. It's the only one I've ever found. But maybe they do. I should have some loot in them. Yep, yeah, beautiful. Love it. Ooh, arrows. Never use them, but, you know, I have them. And... Ammo box. Don't see anything else that's not lootable down there, is it? Nope. All right, cool. Let me just grab the ore. Oh boy, it's raining. It's a raining. Okay, I don't think it really affects much in this game at the moment. All right, we good? Nope, that's not good. <laughs> Can't have this thing rolling down a hill while I'm trying to loot. All right, this should be pretty good. Shouldn't there be a parking brake on this thing or something? It seems like it's sliding. Even when it shouldn't be. Right? Okay, that's ridiculous. Alright, whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. Probably. Alright, ooh, big blue container here. Oh, we bought, can, we bought this... Uh-oh. Is, is that a crash? Are we crashing? I can't move. Damn it, I haven't saved in a while. I don't know how much of that you would have heard or seen, but I just had, like, a really bad stutter. I was afraid it was going to crash, and I haven't saved in a while. And then I almost didn't save again. But it did work itself out. A little hiccup there. And we now saved, so... Fingers crossed everything goes okay. Got more arrows. And let's see if this thing has... I got the hiccups, by the way. Sorry about that. Let's see if this thing has slid down. Come on, man. Get up there, bro. Can I walk up this? 
Ugh. There seems to be some hills in this game. I feel like you should be able to walk up pretty easily, and you can't. But I made it. I did it. All right, so we're going to hit this one up here next. So let's get back onto the road. I hate going off-road with this thing. I mean, it is an all-terrain vehicle, but it's not, you know, it's not ideal. Like, <laughs> it's better to just stay on the freaking road. Better stay on the freaking road. Oh, this is the loot spot I like. I think I've gotten some good stuff here before. Should be good. And let's loot this. Well, you know. I guess they can't all be winners. I thought there was another one outside, but I guess not. It's supposed to be two outside, right? Or is it one outside and two inside? I guess maybe that's what I was thinking of. Um, yeah, auto stacking, please. That would be also really, really nice. I can't stack that. I didn't think so. Just making sure. Um, oh my goodness. A freaking missile. Two blueprints and a CPU. Holy freaking moly. That is awesome. Uh, we're going to hit this one up here. Then we're going to come down and hit this one right here. And then we're going to go home. Can you guys hear me? Okay, I'm going to have to, like, lower the volume. I've got my voice, like, um, you know, a little bit of behind-the-scenes stuff. I have my voice separated from the game sounds. So uh, when you... Um, I, if the game sounds are too loud or if they're too... Sh I could, like, kind of raise the volumes of each of them to kind of make them uh, work together a little bit better. So, all right, let's see what we got here. What do you got? What do you got for me? Okay. Food is not going to be an issue anytime soon. Um, I think... No, this, no, these go there. Okay. And nothing there. Oh, trying to hide it from me. Dude, I got all these blueprints. I don't think I need blueprints anymore, though. Like, there was the one where I needed, like, five blueprints, and it took forever. Maybe I need... You know what? I probably need the blueprints for the Tier 3 workbench. I haven't looked at it yet, so... It is a distinct possibility. So my ATV would just not move. I couldn't get it to move. <clears throat> it was, like, inching forward a little bit at a time, almost like if I was walking encumbered. But I couldn't get it to move. I did the unstuck feature. It didn't help. What did help was I, I repeatedly pressed the space bar... While I was on the ATV and it eventually came loose. Very strange. <clears throat> I'm letting you guys know just in case something like that happens in your game. Because, yeah, that was that was weird. Wait, here we go. Yeah, the loot in it kind of was mid. So very, very mid. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to base. It's alright, you know, they can't all be... I mean, food isn't, you know, useless, but... I was hoping for some other stuff. I don't really know what. I don't really know what. I think I've been getting most of my really good loot from the uh, airdrops anyway. I love the way my base gets bigger because then I can like see it from farther away. So it's kind of easier to find it. <laughs> Alright, and here we are. Let's go ahead and uh, drive right in it. The oil shale has respawned outside, which is cool. And let's just come on up in here. There we go. And beautiful. Whoop. Easy there. Easy there. Now, I do have plenty of money. I could have bought the assault rifles and stuff, but I kind of want to make them. For the first time, you know, maybe I'll buy them at a future time, but I'd rather make them. I, I'm pretty sure I have everything I need to make them, and that's what we're going to be doing first thing next episode. That's for darn sure. I just want to say I was checking Steam for updates on this game, and there's been no updates since the last one I talked about, but they did do an announcement saying that they are there. Stuff is getting fixed. Thank you very much to the people who love the game. The game is, I guess, doing very well. Um, there are updates coming, and I think this is essential for new developers in early access games, especially small teams. It is essential that you get out there and let people know you are still here, you are fixing bugs, and you are working on updates. I really was happy to see that. Now, where's this game going in the future? I don't know, man. I, I can't see the future, but I do know that I like what I'm seeing from the developers right now, and um, I'm happy to see you know that kind of stuff, and I can't, see, can't wait to see where this game goes. I am going to call this one here. Next episode, we will be making tons of guns. We, we will be making backpacks. We'll be doing a lot of stuff. We'll be doing some more looting. And I'm going to uh, maybe look for a mercenary. I might look for a mercenary on the day I'm actually attacking the bandit camp. I might get it the day before. I'm not really sure. We'll just, I kind of have to think about what I want to do with that. I, I have no idea how the mercenaries work. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next couple episodes. If you guys are as well, make sure to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.